good afternoon it's hannah just crafting um with art with heart um haven't done a video for a very long time so i'm a bit out of practice uh, but welcome anyway um i hope you enjoy i've been um playing around with um stamps and layering i went to um a cape crane workshop um, a couple of weeks no a week ago last sunday um, it was absolutely fantastic and um, we made this um, year journal um, so each page um, has a little tab with the month on and um, we used various different um, stamping techniques um, the Dylon um, spray inks, it was the first time I'd used them and they were fantastic and a lot of the Dilusions um, stencils um, and stamp sets as well so um, it was really a really really good day and you can see um, more of this on my blog and um, on Kate Crane's blog as well um, I'll try and put links at the bottom. Um, inspired by my new stamps that I bought, the Dilusions um, stamps, this is around the edge, DYR34421. I'm usually not very good at giving information about what they are. And um, this is further around the edge, DYR34513. Um, I, as you can see, I've used these on, on different projects, but um, I particularly like this um, open leaf one, um, and I've used that on my piece of artwork, and I used this leaf one as well, which I then produced um, this bit of artwork. Um, it's actually um, onto um, a print test page that I was having trouble with my printer and therefore um, it printed out on my photo paper that I had in there so rather than waste it so there is some um, text I don't think you probably can see that but um, also because of the properties of the shiny paper when I sprayed on the Dilusions ink sprays over the gesso it lifted so actually I really liked that um, effect so I, I went with it. Um, I used also um, Claudine um, Helmuth layers stamps, um, the Nature Collection, where you get the um, foam ones and you get the clear to go over the top. So I used those, you can probably see that better on, on there. Um, I used those on there as well because um, I wanted it to be nature. So these these are the sort of effects you get. And I used a um, combination of archival ink and distress ink um, with just acrylic paints in the background. So with that, um, I was actually preparing for a talk I'm giving at the local Women's Institute on Thursday evening. Um, and I always like to give out um, artist trading cards come business cards with my details on. So what I did was pop it through the um, printer onto um, just fairly thin card. I think it's 160 GSM, something like that. Uh, it might be 200. Um, I cut them up um, into three and a half by two and a half artist trading card size printed um, live the life you've imagined because when I give something away I like to give a quote or a bit of inspiration to the person receiving it and on the back I just use my um, labels with my name and address etc on so that was the primary aim oh and then it inked around the edges with um, I think it's forest moss um, just to keep it in there and then I got to thinking I've seen an awful lot of um, tape videos lately, washi tape, um, there's been um, Jenny Belly, um, Christy off of Art Geeks, um, several other people um, using different sorts of tape. So I thought, what if I um, had a go at printing out my artwork? Because this, this one printed out just on 
copy paper have no idea this is when I realized that it was all going wrong um, I shan't waste that I shall use that in other artwork but I thought what if I tried to print out the tape because yesterday I was playing in my really junk journal and um, it was on my desk and now I can't put my hands on it um, I've got several different sorts of double-sided tape and I thought what if I actually um, used the tape um, ah here it is it's fallen down by the telly let me find the page right what if I use double-sided tape and um, a phone book um, because it's nice thin paper what would happen so I use double side this is actually the um, scotch scotch um, 3m removable double sided so it's very light and like washi tape you can pick it up and move it that's what I was trying to sort of kind of demonstrate there um, because the paper is very flimsy it will do it just but you do have to be a bit careful um, there it will come don't want to pull it all off anyway so I was doing that yesterday um, and playing around and I used some more um, I put different layers here and then painted over it um, I did it with um, the metallic neo twos um, first and then I, I just went over and, and this is just um, an old you know a junk journal that I've shown before and I use it to just um, you can't say oh yeah put, put my stencils in when I use it any bits of paint that I've got left over and gradually I'm, I'm getting backgrounds in it yeah like that um, so I was practicing my tape there and then I thought right what would happen if I printed it because I was printing my address labels and I ended up with a sheet of the um, paper that the labels come on so I thought oh what if I had a go at using that and as you can probably see I have succeeded um, I put the tape on first of all I experimented with the tape that way as you can see it got jammed in the computer uh, computer the printer several times um, it would not go through um, I think and it wasn't this crinkled to start with I think you know it catches on on the ends you've got to get a really smooth end so I did actually put um, masking tape on both sides to see if it would go through any smoother but again Get, getting jammed so I'm not going to waste that I shall paint on that and use the tape anyway um, but actually that shows you the different sorts of tape I've used I've just used ordinary masking tape here the sort we get in, in um, the UK um, the telephone directory which is nice thin paint onto the 3m tape more masking tape the um, micropore uh, medical tape I really like that because it's quite nice width etc I did try and um, it did work on the the one that I on this one um, some I found this when I was clearing out my dad's house in his office and it's a really wide double sided tape and I thought mm, maybe it will be a bit too too thick however it does work because uh, in the end what I did was um, I left the bit on that was I, I ripped off all the um, let me show you I ripped off all of the bits here this one I actually screwed up ready to put in the bin and then thought oh no so I ripped off those bits but I left um, the end bit on and I will I will take this off so just the end bit now, I don't know if you can see it, because then that will feed through the printer. Um, and also it prints on, so um, you do actually um, get a result. So 
out of um, that one piece of artwork not only have I got my ATCs come business cards um, I've also and a piece of spare paper that didn't print correctly um, I also managed to do all these bits of tape and the secret seemed to be was to go uh, across rather than um, the way I was doing it before to get longer bits so you do get shorter bits this is the top one Oops. I've got a new camera set up I found my microphone stand and thought why don't I use that thank you very much um, Romany for that tip on uh, whimsical workspaces um, so I, I can now do it the correct way up over head rather than upside down which was before so that's the one that um, printed onto the paper and I'd already distressed that with a different color because I made some colored labels this is the more faded that you get with the um, medical tape the masking tape took the color better as you can see um, the detail better I really like the way that the text came out on the tape here and this is actually although it's got a thicker um, more opaque feel um, with the telephone directory on it's still a really nice um, finish and then that's more of the medical tape so again so I just laid that on there over um, my stencil um, excess sprays um, and I just put that on onto there and it was the same stencil that I used on the main artwork so that was quite nice so that's one of my tips um, if you want to get um, tapes even though it's perhaps um, shorter bits but, but you can like print them over and over again hence I've kept the piece of paper and I've probably got several more in my drawer that have got um, half used or whatever I did use some oh this is a, a slightly cheaper brand as well um, I got I think I got some I don't know I pick them up when they're on offer um, and it works perfectly fine when the labels are on them but I think it really was the fact that I'd done it that way rather than uh, I don't know what the different ones are anyway so that's what I've been up to um, I'm going to Romania in December um, I leave on I fly on December the 7th um, so I've made um, a travel journal um, to take with me I'm not going on holiday as um, and it's the first time I'll have been to Eastern Europe which is quite exciting I'm going um, with my friend and neighbour Arthur who lives two doors down from me um, he and his wife uh, run a charity called Hope Carriers Trust and um, they help um, not only people in the UK and um, on the African continent and Haiti and, and places like that but they've also got a charity arm in Romania and we, I'm going out with them to distribute um, the shoe boxes um, that have been collected in here and uh, school equipment etc to <coughs> apparently a very poor area excuse me the dog is barking he was peacefully uh, chewing on his bone I thought I'd keep him occupied um, so I've I've made um, a journal to take with me um, I've got the essential phrases in Romanian um, off the website um, I've used lots of um, junk envelopes um, we use them I have used the dilutions um, borders and I used some um, I can't remember what mate they are but I got three I got the the bubble wrap you probably can't see the bubble wrap um, stamp um, newsprint and chicken wire um, I got them off a create and craft I think because they were a bundle so I, I printed those down first then painted over them which I thought gave a nice faded look it's not too intrusive so for some reason I have gone all pink and 
blue at the moment and turquoise but I've also used some craft paper um, this was a um, junk pamphlet so I kept it um, and made all different ways um, I used to be a, a creative memories consultant um, in a former life um, and they had some really nice note paper so I thought right I'll use that and I'll stick something over that uh, in case I get bored which I doubt very much or more importantly probably need to relax because it's going to be quite stressful I think um, I put in a do part of a doodle pad so I can sit and colour that in if I want to um, I just basically used up as I say lots of different things um, this is car boot I got some these pre-cut it was a pad and you'll see there's different ones um, I get quite a lot of crafty stuff from car boots during the summer which is quite good um, so yeah that's not getting anything in I used um, a card that blank that I had lying around put it in a um, covered an envelope in pink um, this is all thin paper that I was given um, a little what we have a coin envelope some bits that I had left over that happened to match um, even things like this um, I, I just keyed it with gesso um, it's from my sketch pens for my silhouette I thought I kept it because it's really good um, so and it goes into an envelope where I wanted the envelope to be a little bit bigger um, I actually folded paper over and stuck it down the edge of the envelope um, so that I've got more I've put um, a CD wallet in um, might put some more of those in I've used previous bits of artwork that I've done uh, this one's on top of my blog but that might change because I've got a new favourite now um, so I've just added I'll do that this, is, this was the other half of the six page spread that um, the pamphlet I think it was the caravan club I've just got some um, square bit of paper there I used index cards more oh this one was left people um, from an experiment with um, shaving foam and alcohol inks and I did a whole set I gave lots away to my other craft friends and it's just on a postcard so I just took that into um, I can't remember where I got this oh it was um, an old photo album sorry the light's a bit bright but um, it's an old photo album so I just um, folded up the page cut it with some decorative scissors um, pierced it and used blanket stitch um, in some thread so that's another pocket um, I'm using up old stickers that I happen to have around my coin envelopes oh this one um, I bought a 99p kit from the works mainly to experiment with it's a little wallet and there is a phone case that's not very neat I need to perhaps finish that or maybe I'll just leave it as it is but I thought aha the colors are perfect I'm going to make that and I'm going to put it in my journal so put something in it um, so I thought well where I've been trying to place it and then I thought well I've got this large tag I needed to um, anchor down the bit that I'll show you there so I bought some um, stretchy hair bands from savers or somewhere like that 99p for I don't know 10 or more so I tucked it in there um, and then on the back I well I have to take it off now um, I just made um, a little fold out you can't see sorry not used to this new cam camera angle but there's a lot of space because I've got um, a Polaroid Pogo printer that I will be using um, to print out photos I've stocked up with um, paper to take with me and I'm going to do it as I go along because again in the evenings it will be um, something to get everybody else's memories as well and hopefully they'll 
and there's a whole group of us going and they'll write something perhaps this is the inside of a higher living tea bag box and I thought it was so pretty I just leave it as it is I might embellish it when I get there with different things I find but so that whole thing just goes on there with the glittery band so um, another thing I wanted to cheer up the coin envelopes and make them a bit stronger so I took my strip of sticky uh, ring reinforcers I used my um, pro markers and I literally coloured them let them dry though because they they get wet so I just used my pro markers and then I've I've reinforced and I might do that on the rest as well then at the back I've got lots of bit oh this is the bit that I, I used and I thought actually um, it's really quite pretty so I might actually trim a page with that and stick it down but I've got various other bits and pieces in this folder to take with me bits of my own artwork that were already included bits of um, tape ribbon that um, I've got I just put various bits and pieces of things that I might that's that's more of the um, cardstock because I thought I can either cut it up cut the flowers out you know all sorts of things and another piece a few pieces of um, note paper and um, oh and then I made I've got some journal boxes um, what do you call them journal spots um, that I had from creative memories so I'm trying to use those up I've also got um, photos that didn't print out quite right because of the colour so I'd already cut them with a tag I don't know if you see those that's just flowers when I was out and about so I've just backed them with some cream that I had lying around tags that I'd also had cut out put the two together and then did some line journaling lines with um, the edge of a credit card and ink basically so I can use those to tuck in somewhere and then I just the back I've just used um, the craft paper is from fire folder that chopped up the front I use my dilution spray and Lindy stamp gang spray to make the glittery um, a new stencil that got dilutions and the one that you already saw I use canvas um, that was from um, I made myself a paper making um, kit a decal and a mold from the frames of um, two A4 canvases because it was cheap and cheerful so I kept the canvas and I'm using it on there okay I didn't really mean this to be quite so long but um, I think that's mainly what I've been up to lately um, if I think of anything else I'll do another video or put it on my blog okay thanks very much hope you enjoyed it and got some useful tips bye